Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL Doc demo presentation. Apex SQL Doc is an application that is used to document SQL Server databases, SSIS packages, SSRS report, and it fully supports documentation of SSAS cubes. SSAS is a powerful and popular feature in the SQL Server ecosystem. We have created this demo so that you can see how easy it is to create an automated process which will generate SSAS documentation with Apex SQL Doc. With Apex SQL Doc, you can generate documentation in various formats like CHM, Word, PDF, and HTML with custom styles, graphics, and text formats. To start the process of automation, we will show you an example of how to document a database using the GUI. And later, we'll show you how to do the same thing through the command line interface. To begin the documenting process, you need to create a new project. That can be done by clicking New Project. After that, click on the Analysis Services tab and connect to an Analysis Services server. When the connection is established, you will get a full list with Analysis Services servers in the Servers section, and all the databases will be displayed in the Database section. In order to continue, select a database from the Database section. In this video, we will use the AdventureWorks 2014 database for documenting. The documentation will be generated in compiled HTML file at first because of the default settings, but it can easily be changed into PDF, Word, or HTML output format. The next thing you need to do is set up the options for your database. To do this, just click on the database details under the Analysis Services tab and select which tabular and multidimensional details you want to include or exclude in your documentation. Then, select your desired output file location. This is the location where your database documentation will be saved after the documentation process is complete. This can be done in the Options menu under the Output tab. Sometimes, it's useful to have a date stamp in your documentation. To add a date stamp, Select the Naming tab and click on the appropriate button under the File Name section. In this case, the Date button. Other information like data source and database names can also be included. Once you set up the naming options, you must save your project. Saving your project can be done by clicking the Save button, and the app will save the project to the default project location. If you wish to save your project to a desired location, click Save As. When the options are set up and the project is saved, it's time to generate the documentation. To start the documentation process, click Generate. After the documentation process is finished, you will be prompted with a message which allows you to view the documentation directly or open it later. Here, we can see the complete documentation of the selected SSAS database with the needed details in compiled HTML format. As you can see, all of the information and details that we selected are included. To automate the process of SSAS cube documenting, you can use the Apex SQL Doc command line interface, or CLI. For illustrative purposes, we'll use a previously created batch file where we inserted the desired switches that we need for our documentation. The first thing you need to do is enter the file path of the Apex SQL doc.com file, which initiates the CLI of Apex SQL doc. That file can be found in your installation folder. Then use the project file switch to specify the location of your saved project file. After that, specify the output directory by using the output directory switch. To specify the file name of the documentation, use the output name switch. To specify the format of the documentation, use the output format switch. Note that the documentation will be completed in compiled HTML format if the switch is omitted. With the for switch, you can overwrite any existing files with the same file name. We recommend using this switch because if you don't provide the F switch, you will get a warning if the file already exists. The verbose switch, aka the V switch, displays warnings 
meaningful messages, etc. during the documentation processing. If you use this switch, you will see the information messages of the complete operation in the console. When you have specified all required switches, save the file with a .bat file extension. After that, you can execute the bat file and you should get the same results as we demonstrated using the GUI. When the process is completed successfully, you will see an error code 0 message. Now you have completed the documentation with all the wanted details which was made automatically with a single click. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsequel.com.